How's it going guys? So this morning we have a crew coming. They're gonna be installing some big ceiling fans in our new heifer barn in there above the bed pack. Help save some bedding. Keep the animals comfortable in the summer too. Dad and I were just talking about where we wanna put them. We're thinking uh, about 24 feet off the end and then another one 48 feet. There's not gonna be one towards the younger calves. I don't really wanna to keep too much air moving on them. Plus the bedding just doesn't get as wet with the young calves. From what it sounded like, they can get their lift in and work on the bed pack without having to clean it out. So they're working at getting the brackets set up. They have them both mounted. They mount between the trusses there. Looks like a heavy bracket. Their lifters got big tires on it. They had no problem working in here on the bed pack. Doesn't look like they need too much help installing those fans. They have two guys. We're gonna have some nice weather today. Start thinking about getting these robots going. Not sure if we're gonna do that today or not. So they got the motors mounted up there. There's no belt on them. They're just direct drive motors. Kind of interesting looking. Last year we had gotten that big ceiling fan for our milking parlor, it had a belt on it. This is a different type that's gonna be more efficient and quieter. I'm in the milk house now. I'm gonna mix the teat dip for the next day. So the current dip we're using two parts and then you add water to it and you have to mix it for one day of use. Normally Megan does this but she's away this week. I'm gonna make three gallons and that'll be enough for three milkings for pre and post. This is a 15 gallon drum. I'm just going up to three gallons. So there's three gallons of dip. We'll use that for pre and post for the next day. We're actually hand dipping the post, so I'm gonna put some in a separate jug for the, for the hand dippers. We, we've been trying this quick shot dip from Thrifty. It's been working okay. We like it for the pre dip for sure. Just not sure about the conditioning for the post dip yet. Just trying to figure out a, a dip that we really like. Just bring the dip into the utility room. And stick that hose in there. That'll pull the dip out of there for the foamers. I just stuck the gallon jug right there with the dip for the post. We'll hand dip that. So I was just talking to the guy who's gonna help us install these. He's gonna come tomorrow. We're gonna look at the barn. See what we need to change to get these set up. Guess we cut these straps off and start looking at the what we have to work with. Back in the heifer barn now, the guys finished installing these fans. We got them running full speed right now. Yeah, you can feel a lot of air moving. They say they can use a third of the bedding, just reduce your bedding down to a third, which is amazing if that would be true. These heifers are ready to lay down. They've been standing for a little while. Oh my goodness. So we have them running full speed right now just to see how much air they move. Controllers right here. So these fans are from Auto Event and uh, pretty nice controller. So there's manual mode and there's an automatic. It has a temperature sensor on it and also a wind sensor. So I'll put it on automatic now. There's all kinds of settings. You can have it turn on at a certain temperature. We have it turn on at 50 degrees and then run it at 5% up to 60. And then at that point it starts ramping up. Nice warm day today. So it's run at 15%. We got the two fans, they're 19 foot diameter. The main reason we're putting these in is to help keep the bedding drier. And that controller is really nice. We don't have to worry about turning them on at a certain time and watching the temperature. They'll just come on 
change the settings if we need to. Yeah, they're gonna be really nice in the summer too, just for some cooling for these heifers. I'm sure they'll really like that. So it was taking four scoops of bedding a week to keep this barn dry. So now we're gonna watch it closely and see how much less we need to keep it dry. Right now the fans are running about 30% speed. The setting we have it, just a little bit of air. It's not too much because it's only 60 degrees. But yeah, these things are beasts. The ceiling in this barn is not that high. It's 12 feet. So I wanted them to be able to keep the fans as high as they could. They could mount it and keep it about six inches below the trusses there. And they made that two by four hexagon around there just so that if the wind would blow through, it would make the fan run offset a little bit. It wouldn't catch the trusses. It would just hit up against that board. So we have to keep that in mind when we go to clean this barn out, not to park the spreader right underneath these fans so that we don't hit it with the skid loader. So yeah, they're from AutoVent LLC. I'll put the link in the description to them. You can check them out if you want and I'll let you know how they work for us. So they put a little wind sensor right up there on top of the barn so that in the summer when you have the curtains open, there's too much of a breeze running through, you can set it to turn off at a certain wind speed. It's kind of unnecessary to run the fans at that point. Plus, I guess if you get a bunch of wind while the fan's running, it causes it to run offset. Chasing some cows up to the prefresh pen now. First calf ever is the calmest one. I'm mixing cow feed now. Such a beautiful day. Wasn't quite as busy today. I went and picked up some filters. Wanted to do some servicing on a couple pieces of equipment. Time to mix feed now. I'm gonna go ahead and start loading feed for the mixing cows now. I guess we'll go ahead and start loading feed for the milking cows now. Having trouble talking to the camera today. I don't know what the deal is. Some days are easier than others. Just gotta keep pushing through. We opened this bunk up three days ago. Moved back pretty quick at first when it's just a thin layer, but uh, it's been coming out really good. I like to feel it cold feed right at the top. If it's heating, that means it's molding, spoiling. It feels really good. Probably have to break out the silage shaver soon. We've just been scooping it out. It's just not as packed at first. It's harder to pack a thin layer like that. So we'll head to the feed room and get some forages out of the silo, some minerals and then back up to the bunk and get our silage last. I intended to film some of the feed running out, but I just got on a roll and forgot. We got the feed out, cows are happy. Just gonna park the unit. Just 
Just like to turn these lights on for the evening. The milkers will turn them off after. Doesn't look like any are starting to calve. Just chased her up today, 553. She's one of our best cows. I appreciate you guys watching. I was told by my sisters to make sure I mention the merch. We have hoodies, hats, there's uh, beanie caps, some t-shirts left. I'll have the link in the description of the merch if you guys are interested. We really appreciate it. My sisters do an awesome job. They do all the packaging and then send them out, ship them out. Usually they show up in pretty good time. They stay on top of it, so. Let's see if we can get them things going pretty soon. And I'll see you guys later.